Good to hear uh, one last evening uh, post before I head down to see my guy. There I am with my young one, my older one, being the mom. I'm just hoping <laughs> that uh, my channel isn't going to be affected by the fact that, oh, and here's, <laughs> here is my great-grandfather, Jacob Klingman, and uh, ah, my father and his older brother. <laughs> and uh, those, that would have been, he was born in 1918, so it would have been about 1922, I think. Anyway, uh, uh, what I love is my, my great-grandfather was apparently invalided, and he was wearing uh, these uh, plaid bedroom slippers, <laughs> very similar to the ones I sent my mother, which she wore every day for the last year of her life. Okay, so uh, I can't comment on YouTube videos. Oh, I'm a little hot. I'm a little pink like my shirt. I've been baking and cooking, getting things in the freezer. My friend who's going to drive me to the train, uh, he's going to have uh, home-baked rolls for his children and I uh, uh, and his foster kids. He's a foster father. And, uh, oh, I'm realizing, woo, <laughs> I'm a little bit pink. Uh, so this is kind of interesting. Um, uh, I uh, have uh, been blocked from commenting on YouTube. And uh, my last comment that I tried to make was on a Quillette Quillette Cetera, it's called, a um, uh, YouTube channel with this Australian um, at-home mom of four children. It was a really great uh, interview, and she's talking about how uh, women who stay at home with their children are not recognized for their financial contribution. And all I wrote was, um, I know this very well. Because in my divorce, after I found out about my husband's cross-dressing, I uh, was not at all appreciated for the seven years that I had spent at home raising the children while he furthered his career. Now, that's factual uh, truth. <laughs> and... I'm not understanding. I think um, this is an indication of sort of some kind of shadow banning or something like that of me on YouTube. Um, and I got another note like that uh, a few days ago, mentioned it on a community post here. Um, and, uh, the, you know, everyone seemed to think, oh, no, it's no big deal. But so the thing is, I did um, previously write these comments and then uh, write at um, YT channel, Trans Widow Uta Hagen. Uh, and uh, this is interesting because <laughs> this is... Um, uh, discussion that's very important uh, where this Australian at-home mother is talking about care feminism, about advocating for women who are not um, pursuing a career and putting their children in daycare, but are staying at home with them. And uh, it, it just it was a very free ranging discussion. I'll put the link later. But I thought I was writing a completely innocuous comment. I suppose maybe it's because I say my cross dressing ex husband, but I they don't know. I mean, except for that, uh, it's uh, my moniker for comments is trans widow Uta Hagen heels or something like that. <laughs> But anyway, uh, this will be the last one for a while. Um, we just don't know if if my guy is young enough <laughs> or or something enough to get into these clinical trials. And it's uh, sort of like this um, 
back and forth about quality of life and how much the chemo is going to, you know, affect his quality of life and will it actually, I think that they worry that the chemo might kill you. <laughs> so um, I had hopes about that. I was first on team benign and then I was on team clinical trial and now I'm on team whatever he decides and let's have a good life. And oh my goodness, <laughs> the oven really heated up my house. <laughs> but thank you all. Uh, I, I really appreciate all of the good comments. And please, if you're new to the channel, please go back through my catalog of uh, videos and uh, submit positive comments, add to the likes, it's, it's going to be very important. I have a feeling that there's a whole kind of battalion now of monitors who are going to uh, censor, especially trans widows. Just you wait until behind the looking glass Vaishnavi Sundar's film profiling 18 of us trans widows comes out. Uh, I'm doing my own little uh, amateur version of that. And um, just do um, go to your little free library, find a really good adult book, and put in some printed out articles from utahagengrasswidow.wordpress.com and please put uh, comments about children's um, wholesome wellness, creativity into books like the Middle Moffat or books like the Nancy Drew books about how girls grow up to be women and boys grow up to be men and you can be a strong and strappy girl, or you can be, and or, we are both. We are both sensitive. You could be a very sensitive boy, but let's not have uh, these hang-ups about uh, stereotypes. You know, uh, like I read, the, I read the entire Encyclopedia Brown mystery series when I was in third or fourth grade, and that was about a boy who was inquisitive and kind of quiet and sensitive, but he solved these little mysteries in his neighborhood. And uh, I almost feel like we had less of it. Even in the height of, of stereotypes in the 1950s and early 1960s, I'm really wondering if those of us who ran around in our opposite sex cousins' hand-me-downs, of course, this would only be the girls going around in jeans. The boys wouldn't be going around in, in their older cousin's, you know, nightgown or dress or something. But yes, I know, that's how it is. Oh, okay. Cold shower now. <laughs> Baking, cooking getting into the freezer, uh, packing, uh, and I'm not sure what I'll be able to publish. I'm just hoping <laughs> that my being banned from making comments on YouTube is not going to translate anything, you know, bad for this channel. But what will help is your likes and uh, your uh, forwarding and recommending and stuff. And I'm also banned from, from Twitter X. <laughs> And I take that as a, um, a vote of valor or something. So there they are. <laughs> Those old folks in their stereotypical old clothing in about 1922.